Wait. We cut. Don't ask why. We just cut. Um, the story was there was a Great Dane that we saw, and we were trying to figure out how exactly to sneak it in the apartment and up to the ninth floor. We can't have pets in this building, which might be a deal breaker if we want to move in here or not. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what would you be your illegal maybe pet? My illegal pet? Um, uh, or like normal pet, whatever. Normal pet, a cat. Just because I'm a cat person. Illegal pet, a fruit bat. <laughs> What's your most serious part of your body? Um, I'm, I'm going to say... I'm going to say my lips. Remember when Akrita drew that character show of me? Oh my god, he drew your lips so big. Okay. I completely forgot about that picture. Okay. Remember the picture you drew of me? It was just me reading a book. I saw it was like my glasses and the book. Uh, okay, so, um, go. Uh, favorite part of my body. What's your boobs? I was actually going to say my boobs. It's one of my more defining features. Okay, so what's your most favorite part of your personality? And I would have to say that I'm extremely quirky and weird and awkward, and I think that's my favorite part. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Terrible. What part of my personality? Like, I guess my humor? My knowledge of all these random things? <laughs> just trust me. Facts are, I just know way too much for my own good. Madonna or Lady Gaga, neither both, who cares? Um, I'm going to say Madonna just because I've actually heard more of her songs than Lady Gaga, but I don't really care. I'm completely indifferent about this. Like, I like Lady Gaga, and I like Madonna, so I'm just completely, I'm indifferent. Just voguing. Um... <laughs> Have you watched the Super Bowl and all the way through? No, because I didn't even get sports, um, and plus I don't have a TV, so. I have, like, such a short attention span when it comes to sports, unless it's wrestling, which is barely a sport. Have you ever watched any major sporting event drunk? And no, because I don't like to follow sports anyway, again, and uh, no, just no. Go, go no. away, question. No. <laughs> What's the most delicious food you've ever eaten in your life? And um, I would have to say, uh, when I worked at this pizza place like two years ago, this waitress that I used to work with, um, she made me strawberry shortcake, homemade strawberry shortcake, and it was like the fluffiest, delicious, most warm, delicious thing with whipped cream and um, like strawberries, fresh strawberries from the farm. Farmer's Market. Oh my god, it sounds so good. There's like syrupy and there's like powdered sugar dusted on there. It's delicious and I wish I had some right that now. That sounds like diabetes <laughs> on a plate though. <laughs> I would say my favorite, like the most delicious thing I've ever tasted is... I would have to say my mom made homemade caramel cake. If you've never had caramel cake, get caramel cake. It's that good. Fresh caramel cake. Like, she made the caramel herself, so it was just, like, melt-in-your-mouth delicious. Margarine or butter? Which you grew up with? We grew up... Actually, I grew up with margarine, but, um, Thomas, my ex-boyfriend, and Sissa, we had butter, so now butter. So, I don't... I don't know. I guess, like, in your childhood. Well, I grew up with margarine, so... Margarine and then, like, that fake butter. <laughs> like, uh, I can't believe it's not butter. Or, like, smart start. Okay, so, um, whole skim, 1%, 2%, um, or, okay, so, I always had 2%. Thanks to you. And. <laughs> Remember, we would get whole milk and then we would, like, water it down. <laughs> I, when I was, um. From being in our high school. Child, I drank 2% milk for no reason, I guess. I guess because, um, like, that was all they gave us in school. Like, they only gave us, like. 2% milk, like 1 or 2% milk, never really whole milk, and unless then, it was like chocolate. Thomas again insisted that we had whole milk, so I actually got accustomed to it, but now I drink 2% again, because fuck him. <laughs> uh, which can, contents have you been on? And I have been in America. <laughs> Just North America for both Central America. <laughs> oh yeah, you have been to Central America. I've been to North America. Okay. 
So I was supposed to go into Central America. I was like right across the border. I just didn't hop. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so do you get motion sickness? Any horror stories? I do get motion sickness, and I don't haven't actually thrown up, but I get extremely crazy, and it's horrible. And um, that combines with my anxiety. It just I hate being on the train and stuff. It's just not good. And I have taken Germaine for it, but um, I think it just like it doesn't go away because of the anxiety is added on top of that. It's just like it doesn't, you know, it's not a good time. Um, do you get motion sickness? Um, the thing is, like, on, like, like, just, like, in the car or, like, on the train, no. Uh, I've been on the plane, but I didn't really get motion sickness. But I do get motion sickness when I'm on certain, like, rides. Like, if the ride spins a lot or, like, like, if it spins a lot, I get really, really nauseous. And sometimes, like, if it just, like, has, like, a lot of, like, sharp turns and, like, wobbles a lot, it makes me feel, like, really nauseous. Tip for anxiety people who are on this channel is that I sing to myself or like hum a tune with a steady rhythm and beat and that usually helps. Usually I sing um, Chapel of Love by the Ronettes. So. <laughs> Backpacks or satchels and the correct answer is mushroom your bags. <laughs> okay. Um, would you wear a rainbow jacket and neon yellow sweater um, checkered pants? I would wear checker pants. I don't think I'd wear the neon yellow sweater because it sounds ugly. And the rainbow jacket, maybe just because. The rainbow jacket. I would not wear a rainbow jacket just because I don't particularly care for rainbows, which sounds weird, but like on clothes, no rainbows. Neon yellow sweater, sure, why not? And checkered pants. Maybe. I want um black and white checkered pants with like suspenders. I want striped pants. Um, what was your favorite cartoon growing up? And uh, what is your favorite cartoon? I have several. I probably have to say Dragon Ball Z. Sailor Moon. Um, Angry Beavers. It's another Daria, because my sister used to watch Daria, and I watched that. Um, if you had to have a cow pig. Or pig, which one you need to take and why? I've always wanted a cow, actually. So a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I would get like a little pot belly pig, and like just like I would just take care of it and feed it, and it'd be like so tiny. If you had to look, to, if you had to look at one city skyline for the rest of your life, which would it be? And I don't know. Um, New York sounds pretty fancy. Just the skyline of New York. Any city, really. Any city with like a pretty skyline. Like, there's no one in particular. Longest plane you've ever been in, on? And I've only taken a plane once, so that one. The one where I went to Mexico and back. Uh, the one where I went to go and visit my grandma in the south. Latest you ever slept? And um, me and my siblings used to have a contest where you had to stay up for as long as possible. And I think I did a whole day, so 24 hours, I think. Um, the longest I've ever stayed up was like, I actually stayed up for like two days straight. <laughs> like, I forgot why. No, actually it was three days because I had coffee. <laughs> yes. Would you buy a sweater covered in kitten pictures? Would you wear it if somebody gave it to you for free? And yes. 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 Obviously. Yes. Um, do you Ugly pick cat sweaters okay. for the win. Do you pick scabs? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Favorite kind of bean, kibby, black pinto. Pinto bean, because I'm Mexican, so <laughs> obviously. Well, the type of bean I like is not here, but like uh, pork and beans or uh, the hell? baked beans. How far can you throw a baseball? Not very. I am bad at sports, like I've mentioned before. I could probably like do like a decent underhand throw. If you had to move to another country, where would you move? I would probably pick... Um, England, because it sounds fancy. And I can speak. And I can speak the language. Yeah. I don't want to go to another country and, <laughs> like, butcher their language. Have you ever eaten Ethiopian food? Sorry. Ethiopian food, Vietnamese food, Korean, and Nepalese. And I've tried Korean food. It was pretty good. What about you? No, nothing. I'm not that fancy. Okay, so small liberal arts school or public university. Probably smaller. Um, public university sounds kind of scary, actually. <laughs> like, I'd have to join a sorority or something. <laughs> Make friends. 
Um, maybe. 